All right. Now we're getting into it here. We are at and going to or at now a butterfly museum. Might be oh look at this you guys. Come here. Yeah, I already saw that. Right on. So we're going to go on a butterfly tour. All right, my friends, Trudy has a butterfly uh, caterpillar in her hand. And she said, take a picture, Bruce, Did because... Okay, so Look, he pooped, pooped, pooped on you! <laughs> <laughs> right on. And your name is again? Fabian. Fabian, do you mind? Yeah. I have a YouTube channel if I oh, put wonderful. you on. Oh, wonderful. Okay. okay so. Gracias. <laughs> Perfecto. Other organs inside. And when they uh, they made already the chrysalis, they will shed their skin and we will have the chrysalis. But these chrysalis, in the very first two days, they are very soft. So that's why we let them on the side until they start drying out. And then we are able to manipulate them and uh, hang it on a little stick like that. They could be over here in this stage one week approximately or even six months depending on the species of the butterfly. Oh yeah. Inside in the lab we will wanna we're gonna see the species of, of, of chrysalis that is for a be for a swallowtail. Their season is from May until November. In December uh, it's too cold already. So the the chrysalis will hibernate for six months until the next season waiting until it becomes much more warmer and then they will finally emerge. So six months, this is going to be our fourth year that that chrysalis, I mean that species of chrysalis will be hibernating for five to six months. Nice. So do you, can you tell what's in there right now, like what type of... In, in some species of, of chrysalis you could determine it, but, uh, but then but we need to wait until the... Oh look, it's moving over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is what? It was moving, yeah. yeah. So, but in, but when they uh, when they emerge, we just need to look the shape of their abdomen or the color of their wings. Inside, we will be, we will be able to see uh, some different species, and when they are more colorful, and you will say, ah, oh, this one is a boy, ah, oh, this one is a girl, oh. just like that, or by the shape of their abdomen. You see what's moving? Like? Yeah. Yeah. In Mexico, there is a legend that it says, when you help a butterfly to give his or her first fly, the butterflies, in gratitude, they are going to give you one wish. This wish needs to be from your heart. Since the butterflies cannot make any noise, they're going to keep it in secret and they will take it to the mother nature. So these butterflies are three hours old. So you can whisper a wish to your butterfly and give it a name. So, because they will take it to the modern nature place. You got two. Cool. Okay, and Thank so, you. 
What's the secret of releasing them? You take the lid off? Mm -hmm. Turn the lid off or you just take the lid off and let them go? And let them go. Okay. If you feel inside, you can put it my wish. Mm -hmm. Okay, I whispered it to him. Her, him, him. Oh, uh, that is a girl. It's a girl. Okay, her. You can put your index finger in the front. Okay, with the other one. Slowly. Whisper your secret, Bruce. This is the female part. Yeah, it's a Oh no, it's a boy. Oh no, it's a boy. It's a boy. Yeah, it's a boy. And are these? It's a boy. Doesn't matter. Are these boys? Boys or girls? You have one and one. A boy and one girl. Right. You got a lazy boy and girl. Yeah. Mine are stubborn. Bruce's are stubborn. <laughs> I said they're lazy. You can put your finger like that, Bruce, very slowly, and try to touch the their front feet. Keep going, keep going. I see the by front the, feet right this. there, yeah. Oh no, by the, by the, by the, in the middle. In the middle? Oh no, by, from, directly oh, from the, the head. Like on the top? Like that? Bottom, like oh, this. Like I'm this. so sorry, you do it. You, like it's this. Okay. Just like that and keep going all the way down. Just keep your finger, yeah, keep going down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you oh yeah. <gasps> now the other one like that. Exactly. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Hey, Bill. We got a go kart track here. You just got to watch out for the scorpions. L O L. So for Mexico, I would consider this remote. That's the road in. That's where the cab dropped us off when we're getting picked up by InDrive. Because you'd never get a cab to come down this far. We're quite remote. So I'll just do a little scan here. Imagine in the rainy season, this would be so lush. And right there is our Butterfly Museum entrance back there. We're out in the open so we can get a cell phone signal down here. 40 zoom. <laughs> From, from optical to digital, you could see it pulse there. There, that's how far away that was. Wasn't that fun? And there's my little group. The guy, oh, the guide, and my two ladies that I'm with, my wife and our friend Carolyn. And back to the road coming down the hill. I do not know much about the flora and fauna in Mexico, but this looks kind of like an agave plant. I'll ask our tour guy. They look pretty dangerous. Part of the tour, we've stopped at our grocery store. We like this one, it's called Licomer. And it's just a big old 
grocery store, man. People from all over the world. Fun, huh?